Go. Hi, this is Christian with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and I'm here with uh, Linda. So, uh, this all looks really cool. Uh, what, do you, what do you have going on here? Well, we have a brand new product made by Beacon called Maker's Mix. It's a user-friendly, tailored for the artisan use and the crafter use. It's a, it's a fast-setting concrete, lightweight, and I'm going to hand you two samples. Christian, this is regular concrete. Pretty heavy, right? Yeah. And then we have... Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly, that's what everyone says. Oh, wow. So that gives you an idea of the difference in weight. Um, we will, what we do is, all you do is add water. That's it, it is, when I say user friendly, it is user friendly. So we have some here in the little mixing bowl. Gonna add some water, it's just like mixing cake batter. And we get it to a nice, creamy consistency. And then I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes, not very long. Make sure all the concrete powder is absorbed the water. Now over here we have some soap molds. And I just have regular vegetable oil, so I'm going to use that as my release agent. And in less than, because these are smaller pieces, in less than 30 minutes, I'll be able to pop these out. It's incredible what can be done with this product. Is it self-leveling? It is user-friendly. It, um, it doesn't have any smell to it. It is, you can use this, once you make your item, it can be used interior or exterior. And we have some different samples over here behind me, which we will feature. But we just keep, you know, filling up our molds here. I got a little bit too much. Now, because concrete naturally has air in it, we will just tap it out here to make sure we get the air bubbles out. And that's how you would level it to make sure it's... And it also levels the back, yes. Now, we just cast this this morning. And we also have tints that can be added to the mix while it's wet. And I will do that right now. Forgive me, I don't know where my spoon is, so we're just going to add that in. Mix it. And then we will pour. Whoops, let me get this last bit here. Mixed up real quick. As you can see, it's, it's just so easy. And that will come out to a beautiful brown. And again, I have a little bit too much, so as you can see, it's really hard to mess this up. <laughs> Very user-friendly. Very user-friendly. And then behind me, we'll show you all the different molds that come with the, that are available through Beacon with this product, the Maker's Mix. And those will be ready in no time. Okay, we can come over here. Christian, let me show you. Okay. Now, if this were made with real concrete, go ahead and hold this. That would be really heavy. Yeah, this is pretty light. Yeah, it really is. And this was hand-formed, this piece, so you can use the molds, which are available through Beacon, with their different tints. 
And you also have the option of hand shaping it as well. Now that piece right there, did you make that? This piece? This piece is called Galaxy. Yes, I made this. I used a balloon to shape the concrete. Amazing. Yeah. That is really cool. Thank That's you. Cool. And what happens is naturally you have these little air bubbles and I thought instead of worrying about filling them, I'll use them to my advantage and that's why I decided to call it Galaxy because it really looks like you're looking into the Milky Way. And you painted that? Yes. Wow. What did it start, yes, what color is, did it start out to be? This is acrylic paint. What color did it start out as the... It started out as the regular, this is what it looked like before, the regular wow. concrete color. And then I used acrylic paints and variegated metal leaf and some metallic acrylic paint. This is the platter that I made. This too is hand formed. This is the plat. It looked again like the, it was just regular concrete, and then I added the gold leaf and the copper leaf. It's for interior use. It's really pretty. Thank you. with A Creative Journey with Melissa, signing off. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.